Hey guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem and the problem's name is longest substring without repeating characters. In this question, we are given a string S and we need to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. So by definition, a substring is a contiguous non-empty sequence of characters within a string. There shouldn't be any gaps between the string. So such a string will be a substring and the length of the substring will be less than or equal to the original length of the string. Now let's take a look at this example and see how this question can be solved. I've taken the same example. This is the string that's given to us. Now we have to find the longest substring with non-repeating characters. So to a naked eye, you can see that this is the longest substring with non-repeating characters. There is also one more same substring here with three characters. So you return three as the output. So how are you checking if all the characters inside this are unique? You're comparing each letter in that substring with rest of the letters. And you can see that all three are unique. So which data structure you're going to use check for uniqueness. You can either use a hash set or a hash map. So let's use a hash set because hash tables do not contain duplicate values. So I'm using a hash set. So let's declare a hash set. And then I'm going to declare two pointers left and right. So left will be the slow pointer both starting from the zeroth index. So the right pointer will be the faster pointer which will reach the end of the string first. So we are going to add the character at right inside the set if it is present or not. The character at right is A. We check if A is present inside the hash set. No, it is not present. So add it inside the hash set. And you declare our result variable max, which will initially be zero. So we are going to return this as the output. So before starting a new iteration, you find the length of the current substring. So length of the current substring will be, so right minus left plus one will give you the length of substring. So right and left are pointers. Plus one will give you the length because right and left are index positions which start from zero. So length is equal to zero minus zero plus 1 is equal to 1. So in each iteration we check if max is equal to math.max of current max or length. So max is initially 0 right? 0 comma 1 is equal to 1. So max is now having the value 1. And now we go for the next iteration. You move the right pointer. We check if the character at right is present inside the asset or not. B is not present inside the asset. So add it inside the asset. And now calculate the length of the current substring. So right is pointing at 1, left is 0, plus 1 is equal to 2 and update max. So current max is 1 and length is 2. So max is equal to 2. Then go for the next iteration. Check if the character at right is present inside the set. It is not present. C is not present. So add it inside the set and calculate the length of the current substring. So right is 2 minus 0 plus 1 is equal to 3. So max is currently 2. 2 comma 3 is 3 so max is 3 now go for the next iteration check if element at right which is a is present inside the set yes it is present so you remove that element from the set and increment left and now you add the element at right inside the set now calculate the length max will remain 3 because 3 comma 3 will remain 3 now go for the next iteration it is pointing here check if the element at r is present inside the set yes it is present so remove the element at left and add the element at right and increment the left pointer now calculate the length, length is 3 and max is 3, max will remain 3. Now go for the next iteration, check if element at right is present inside the set, yes it is present. So remove the element at left from the set, element at left is C, so remove C and add the element at right, element at right is C, so add it and increment the left pointer. Now calculate the length, length is 3 and max is 3, so max will remain the same, go for the next iteration. Check if element at right is present inside the set. Yes, it is present. So remove the element pointing at left from the set. This is removed. Increment the left pointer. Now the element of right is B. It is present inside the set. So we have to continue removing the element at left from the set. So B is also removed. Now increment left. Now check if you are able to add the element at right into the set. It is not present. So add it into the set. And now find the length. 6 minus 5 plus 1 is equal to 2. 2 is less than 3, so 3 will remain as the max. Now go for the next iteration. The element at right is B. Check if it is present inside the set. Yes, it is present. So remove the element at left from the set. Element at left is C. So remove C and increment the left pointer. Check if you are able to add the element at right into the set. B is, B is still present inside the set. So remove the element at left from the set. That element is removed. Increment the left pointer. Now check if the element at right is present inside the set. No, it is not present. So add it into the set. And now find the length of the substring. Right is 7, left is 7. So max is greater than 1. So max will remain the same. Now go for the next iteration. And now right has reached the end of the string. 
so you end the iteration and you return whatever is present inside the max variable outside the for loop so 3 will be returned as the output i know there is a lot of iterations and calculations now let's code it up and then we'll debug the code using an example inside an ide coming to the function they have given us this is the function name and this is the string s we have to play with and this is the output return type which is an integer representing the longest substring length so let's start off by creating a hash set which will contain characters now let's declare our output variable i'm going to name it max now let's declare the two pointers left pointer which is the slower pointer will be starting at the zeroth index and now we use a for loop for the right pointer because that is the first pointer and we'll be reaching the end of the string first the right pointer will also be starting at zero until it reaches the end now let's extract the character pointing at the right index position now we are going to check if this character is present inside the set or not so until this character pointing at the right index is present inside the set we need to remove the character pointing at left from the set so set dot remove s dot arrow left and we increment the left pointer in each iteration and outside the for loop it means that that character is not present inside the set so we add it inside the set and now let's find out the length of the substring and each time you add the character inside the set you need to find the maximum length of the substring so max will be replaced with max of current max and the length so whichever is maximum will be replaced inside max and now outside the for loop it means that you reach the end of the substring and outside the for loop you can return the variable max now let's try to run the code this is write plus plus the test cases are running let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted now let's debug the code inside our ide so i've taken the same code and i've taken the same string s as the input so i'm calling this function inside the main method and it will return an integer variable max and i'm printing it i've added a breakpoint here so let's debug it so here you can see s is having this string so let's step over now ch will have the character at right which is a we are checking if the set contains ch set is empty so it doesn't contain so it won't enter the while loop and we add that ch into the set so here you can see at zeroth index a has been added into the set now length is calculated as 1 right minus left plus 1 and max will also be 1 so here you can see max is 1 and in the next iteration right is equal to 1 right is pointing to the letter b now we're checking if b is present inside the set set only has a as of now so it won't go inside the while loop and b is added into the set length is equal to right minus left plus 1 that is length is 2 current length will replace max so max is also 2 now so here you can see max is 2 now right is equal to 2 so right is pointing at letter c c is not present inside the set so it won't enter the while loop and c is added into the set current length is equal to 3 now current length 3 will replace max so max is also 3 now so here you can see max is 3 and now right is equal to 3 right is pointing at letter a we're checking if a is present inside the set yes a is present so it will enter inside the while loop and now we remove the element pointing at left left is pointing at 0 so s dot caret of 0 is equal to a so we remove a from the set here you can see a has been removed and now we increment left left will become 1 now we are going to check if set contains a a is not present inside the set so it will come out of the while loop and now it will add element pointing at right right is 3 the third index has letter a so we add a into the set now you see a has been added again now we calculate the length length is equal to 3 minus 1 that is 2 plus 1 3 max is already 3 so it won't replace so max is still 3 now right is equal to 4 the character pointing at right is b we are checking if b is present inside the set yes b is present so we have to remove the element pointing at left left is equal to 1 left is pointing at b so remove b so b has been removed increment left left will become 2 ch is b check if b is present inside the set no it is not present so add it into the set again so b has been added again now check the current length of the substring 
it is still 3 so it will remain the same now write is equal to 5 character at 5 is equal to c check if c is present inside the set yes c is present so we have to remove the element pointing at left so left is equal to 2 2 is pointing at c so c will be removed from the set c has been removed increment left left is equal to 3 now check if c is present in the set it is not present so add it so it has been added now and now check for the length length remains 3 so max also remains 3 now write is 6 ch has b now check if b is present inside the set yes b is present so remove the element pointing at left so left is pointing at a so a will be removed from the set as you see a has been removed now increment left check if b is present inside the set yes it is present enter and remove b from the set there you see b has been removed increment left now check if b is present inside the set no it is not present so add it so b has been added into the set find the current length current length is 2 but max is 3 so max will remain as 3 now write is 7 so we are at the last index check if b is present inside the set yes it is present so left is 5 so left is pointing at c c will be removed now increment left check if b is present inside the set b is also present inside the set so b will be removed increment left check if b is present inside the set no it is not present so b will be added so b has been added into the set find the length length is equal to 1 but max is 3 so it will come out of the for loop because so length is 8 and right is also 8 so this condition will fail and you come out of the while loop and you return max max has 3 inside it so 3 will be returned as the output so here you can see 3 has been returned as the output so the time complexity of this approach is O of n and the space complexity is also O of n where n stands for the length of the string s. That's it guys. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.